Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to give a general strategy for finding limits algebraically. Now, uh, before we do that, we have um, four basic limit laws that are uh, really important for us. Um, and um, the first one just says that if you're taking the limit of a sum, you can break it up into the sum of the individual limits. The second law says that if you have a constant multiplying a function, you can take that constant out of the limit. That's a really important one. Well, these are all important, but uh, that one we use a lot. Um, and then uh, the limit of a product is the product of the limits, and the limit of a quotient is the uh, quotient of the limits as long as the um, denominator is not equal to zero. Um, okay, so now let's uh, let's write down our general uh, strategy. So we already, um, you know, went over continuity, and we talked about how a function that um, when its limit exists, if a function is continuous, the limit is equal to the value of the function. So. Uh, this gives us a general framework. The first thing that we're going to do is when we're looking for a limit is we're going to plug it in. So we're going to try plugging in the number. Now the second thing is that uh, two different when we plug it in two different things can happen. You can get a indeterminate form and you know so indeterminate form that looks like 0 over 0 infinity minus infinity infinity over infinity 1 to the infinity so there are several uh, indeterminate forms now if this happens then uh, you do some uh, more work. So you're going to do uh, some algebra. So you're going to maybe factor, uh, maybe rationalize, um, rationalize, um, etc. Okay, now the other thing that can happen, and this one confuses a lot of uh, students, is that you can get a, uh, a constant over, so when you plug this in, a constant over zero. Now this is different than zero over zero, and it's not, not indeterminate. This is different. So if you imagine having a constant, let's just say for example four, and the bottom isn't equal to zero, but it's going towards zero. So like you're thinking about numbers, you know, small numbers like 0 .00001. Well, if this is getting closer and closer to zero, you know, so it's going from 0 0.1 to 0 0.01 to 0 0.0. When you divide four by these numbers that are getting smaller and smaller and smaller, where is this guy going? The whole thing is blowing up. So it's going to infinity or negative infinity. One of the two. Well, how do you tell um, which one it's going to? Is it going to infinity or is it going to negative infinity? Well, what you need to do is uh, you're going to plug in a number that's uh, close to it. And what you're going to do is you're going to check the sign. And uh, so once you get a constant over zero, you already know it's going to either infinity or negative infinity. Then all you need to do is check the sign. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do a lot of examples. Um, let me show you an example of what I mean um, on the second case because that one is a little bit confusing. Let's say for example you're doing the limit as x approaches 3 from the left 
of um, 4x over x minus 3. Okay, so here, remember, uh, the first thing from our strategy is you uh, plug it in. So you would plug in uh, the number 3. And so you would get uh, 12 on the top and 0 on the bottom. So then we just talked about this. What this means, since you have a constant over 0, this means that it's going to infinity or negative infinity. Okay, so then the second step is to, in this case, because you already know it's going to infinity or negative infinity, what you're going to do is you're going to plug in a number that's approaching, that's near 3, in this case from the left side. So if you think of a number that's close to 3 from the left side, now you want to get close, um, you can plug in a number like uh, 2.9. And what you're looking for is not what the number is, but you're looking for what's the sign going to be. Because you already know that it's going to infinity or negative infinity. All you need to check for now is the sign. So if you plug in, let me just write down 4x over x minus 3. Okay. If you plug in uh, 2.9 on top, do you get a positive or a negative number? Well, you're going to get a positive number. If you plug in 2.9 on the bottom, you get 2.9 minus 3. That's going to be a negative number. You don't care what number it is. You just care that it's negative. And so then, if you have a positive number dividing by a negative number, the result is going to be negative, so then you know that it's going to negative infinity. If this would have been positive, then um, you would have known it's going to positive infinity. But you don't do one. Um, you don't do this one before you do this one. So you always have to check uh, by plugging it in first. Once you know that it's one of these two cases, then you can plug in a number that's close to tell you that it's going to. Um, negative infinity in this case.